A Thursday night street brawl with a difference. One of the men rolling around on the ground is a police officer. The other is a member of parliament. The MP, Eric Joyce, appeared to lose his temper outside a karaoke night in one of Westminster's favourite drinking haunts, the Sports and Social Bar. I saw him wrestling on the ground with two police officers. He appeared to have one of the police officers uh, in an arm lock. He had his arm around the officer's neck. Uh, they would knocked a bin over one of the policeman's helmets was rolling around in the ground and about 40 or 50 parliamentary staff, uh, clearly shocked, were observing this scene as, as bar staff tried to get people to stand back. And it didn't end well. The MP for Falkirk spent the night in the cells of a police station and is still locked up. Worryingly, it's not the first time that this has happened. This was him last year, convicted of assaulting a number of Conservative MPs in House of Commons Strangers Bar. I have to reflect on the best way of dealing with both alcohol and a tendency towards being aggressive physically, um, two things. I have to do something about that myself. He was fined and banned from pubs for three months. The police haven't said what they plan to do this time, but the Commons authorities have already decided to act, banning him from buying alcohol on the parliamentary estate. Most people probably think that being convicted of assault would be enough for an MP to lose their job, but actually it's very difficult to get rid of a politician. Unless someone's been sentenced to at least 12 months in jail, then they will continue to serve as a Member of Parliament, whether the people of Falkirk like it or not. Unsurprisingly, his constituents are not impressed. It's a disgrace. He is a disgrace, yeah. Not impressed at all. I think he should be put out of Parliament altogether. Uh, I think he should be just resigning. The drinking culture in Parliament is also under the spotlight. There are 27 venues that serve alcohol on the estate and eight bars. A number of MPs have expressed concern about the inflexible hours, the easy access to drink and the isolation and separation from families back home. I, I think my colleagues in the main are hard-working, decent people. But many of them do have problems, and uh, we've all had dark days. I've been there 20 years, and thank goodness I had the support of my family to hold me together. One parliamentary researcher also said that there is a drinking culture among some. You know, I don't think that it encourages drinking at all. I think it's a normal working environment where people want to go for a drink after work. I, I think you know we shouldn't tar all MPs and staff with the same brush as what's happened over the last few weeks. We are just people that want to go for a quiet drink after a hard day's work and we choose to do it in there instead of outside somewhere else. They're currently demolishing Eric Joyce's constituency office block. It was deemed unfit for purpose and offensive to the locals. A political metaphor that isn't lost on Eric Joyce's constituents. Sophie Ridge, Sky News in Westminster.